In this video number 8, we will define the static earthquake forces. Okay, so from the loads, so we have load case here. I will just click this one. So create, we already defined the gravity loads. Dead load is DL and reducible line. And the self-weight is the dead load. I will just click OK and click exit. So now we will define the seismic load the static earthquake loads okay so we will go to uh, loads so this is the load tab then we will click this seismic load just click that one and let's say uh, this is load case ex by the way we have the manual here so I have this manual here. I will set it aside. There is a step-by-step -step procedure. So, so this is EX. And next this is mass source. So this is equivalent to 1.0. Then zone 4. And this is seismic source type B. The period calculations is method A. And the Soil profile type is S sub C. This is 10 kilometer and importance factor. This is standard facility. We will select this one, left click, and this is concrete. This is more moment resisting frame system. I will just click this one, and this is special reinforced concrete moment frames. I will just click OK. Then the, the base shear is this one 0 0.118 of seismic weight so this is the seismic weight 5654.8 kilonewton and the axis angle is zero because this is ex so i will just click this generate to be able to generate the seismic forces along x direction okay so that input is from the uh, table of design criteria so this is our design criteria occupancy this is standard occupancy importance factor is one seismic zone is four seismic source type is b and soil profile type s sub c and the distance to source is 10 kilometer seismic zone uh, near source factor and the seismic response coefficient is also derived from this table so this value is from the or this this value or this information is from the NSCP reference this one so this is set by the structural designer and this is a seismic zone zone and seismic source type soil profile type and this distance will be defined by the geotechnical engineer for the uh, record so this is the, the, this information uh, will be given by the geotechnical engineer okay so they are the one who handle this information or they are giving that correct information okay and this one will be derived from this uh, table so now we already defined ex we will define now the earthquake along z direction okay so this should this have 1.0 here so i will just edit this manual Okay, so this uh, will go to loads and go to new. Then the E, uh, e Z. Then the mass source is 1.0. For the dead load and for the SDL is also 1.0. Okay, so this value is 4. This is seismic source type B, method A. And we have the soil profile type S sub C. 
distance to known let's say 10 kilometer and importance factor say standard facility because this is residential and then click this and a city table to 8-11 so this is concrete moment system frame click this one drop down and select the select the special reinforced concrete moment frames i will just click ok and you will find the seismic weight here equivalent to the seismic weight to the ex direction and this is the base here so the that is almost 12% uh, of the seismic weight and the uh, angle is 90 degrees so i will just uh, so we are referring to this uh, direction z so if this is your plan so the x axis is 0 and the z axis is 90 so that's why we have 90 values here so i will just click this uh, generate seismic load to be able to generate that load okay click it and this is the joint loads generated by the seismic forces acting on the system so now we have here five load cases dead load is dl reducible life earthquake static along x and earthquake static along z axis so if you just select that uh, load cases the load applied will be able to see okay so this is for the so this is the video on how to define the seismic load in frame ca so this is very easy to use so this program is very easy to use Okay, so I will just save this file, save as, let's say, oh, oh uh, this one. So I will stop the video here and we will define the wind load in the next video. Okay.